that. Yeah, that's true. Oldies. We call we call ourselves the oldies, and then the new ones we call the kids. Yeah. Two thousand five. Two thousand five. Yeah. Two thousand four. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. I started like the day after Bush was reelected, so I called Wednesday, which was yesterday. Time has somewhat lost meaning to me over the past few weeks. I was. I've been there for eight years, which is like twenty years in internet time. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically the only job you ever had. This is the only. Uh, I had like some filler stuff, but I I started doing this. Uh, the November, like I graduated in like, I don't know, April or May, and I started doing this job. Why are you looking at me at home? Uh, <laughs> I knew school to graduate, and it, so I started doing it in November at the time. It seemed like a long, that was a long gap, but in retrospect, it's obviously nothing to find this wonderful job that's kept me employed for eight years. Uh, yeah. I started the day after I graduated, yeah. or I had one day off, and then I came to work at College Humor, and Jeff got the, gr the greatest promotion in history of any company of all the time. He was intern Jeff the day before uh, myself and uh, this other guy, Amir, started. The day, the day we started, he was editor? Managing editor. Managing editor. Managing editor. <laughs> was from intern to managing editor. That was, like that's that. not, I did that, that did happen, but it, did, it was before you started. Because that was amazing about the time you started. I don't know. I don't know either. It was a while ago. It was just heady times for college. <laughs> well, it was just like no one else there. Like I'm not the first employee, so it's just like, well, what do you, what job do you want? <laughs> so big oh, girl title, they're all, they're not going to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in 2005, I can probably remember the New York Times published a big story. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not in that picture. My mom still brings that. I think my back is in that picture. Yeah. I think I'm sitting at my, my desk. My mom, of course, you know my mom, Nelly. She, she cut it out of the New York Times and made me read it. And, uh, That's awesome. My mom would do that with. I feel like that wasn't me. My mom would have done that with whoever it was. It should have been that. So I, I relate to that. Yeah, and uh, I just want to read the description of the college humor's offices. And oh. from that article, the 11 staff members work in a newly refurbished 4,800 square foot Tribeca lot where they occasionally have beer soaked, ice cream laden pajama parties. That's true. <laughs> Is it? That was true. Yeah, we had a pajama party. Yes. Remember? I, I remember I used to work like pretty often. Dude, I, I, remember, I remember that party because I remember Jake and Zach oh. almost naked spanging yeah. on a pickle, yeah. a pickle thing, like a pickle jug, whatever those five. You know, bucket drummers play so that's just in their underwear, and I was like, I was leaving. I'm like, this is about to turn into an orgy. <laughs> Maybe time to go or stay. Well, that party, I, I should, like, so the deal is the four guys who founded it, they, like, the office was their apartment. At first, it was one floor, and we worked out of there, and then there were two floors, and they were both in the same building. So it was, like, uh, our office was, like, immediately above their, like, this loft that you're describing. Yeah. Like, four 24-year-old, really yeah, rich funny. dudes lived in. So that was fun. Lots of beer and ice cream. That yeah, was awesome. that was fun. That was fun. What else did I say? That's, this is fun. That, no, that's just, I didn't want to get that. Want to get that beer soaked ice cream laden pajama party line out there. That's, that was just one of the many odd parties that happened in that <laughs> yeah, old that office. I mean, you're te like Jeff saying, like these dudes were 23, yeah. 24 millionaires, millionaires <laughs> sitting on this company that employed like 21, 22 year olds. So obviously, obviously, you know, where your brain goes immediately. Right. Let's get some beer and PJs and ice cream yeah. and throw yeah. a party. It was a little bit like college too, in that like, I don't know, they, like they all just lived together and had this like large space, which I think is not, I don't know, maybe that happened elsewhere, but certainly not in New York, you know? Yeah, definitely not. Do you miss that old college where all those topless sorority pics and drunk shaming? <laughs> uh, I miss the drunk shaming ones. Yeah, I captioned the boob pictures, which used to be uh, major help in the site. Like, yeah. I captioned, I mean, I, must I have approved them. them. And so you captioned I, them. I did. And we sort of approved, approved like, thousands, literally thousands of them. So, like, it definitely lost. It was really hard at the end. And, uh, I, I, I don't really miss it. Like, I, I did enough of that for, like, a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I think we all turned 24 and we were like, I feel dirty doing this, and we're making, like, enough good comedy stuff, we don't need this stuff anymore, yeah. so yeah. it's like scrubbed it. That is a really good element of the site for our we should, I don't know how funny you guys are, but that's not really good. That's not what it is, we're not, I remember those days. But, but you know what? what? It's it like, was. That was a college and Yeah, yeah. It, I, I, I think, think I'm not. Should we bring them back? <laughs> should we bring them back? You guys want to see them back? <laughs> I feel like it, without that, it never would have gotten as big as it did. It allowed us to like make all this comedy, so it was like, right. Important to a degree, I guess. And you know, if you read like old National Lampoon, I used to read old National Lampoon. Really? 
Well, do you remember how much tits was in that? Oh. All the time! Because they're like, what a young, what a young man like? Well, they like jokes, and they like tits. So, like, if you put them together, that's like a perfect way to, like, get a, a young male audience. And you see it in, like, you know, porkies and, like, it, it's, a, it's a pretty solid tradition. Yeah. It, it, it was a company built on boobs. And, uh, <laughs> and the thing of it is, th there's really no place else now. Now you don't do anything. There's nowhere else to get topless photos on the internet. I know, it's so sad. <laughs> I keep looking and I can't yeah. find a single one. Does it get to the point where you want to stop looking at pictures and like really see them in real life? <laughs> whoa, whoa, you from olden times? Come on, lady. Internet! <laughs> no, it's much easier this way. <laughs> plus, plus, it will take me like maybe like two and a half months to see him in real life. I can, I can see 2,000 in a minute. 